Namaste and welcome back to another episode of N5D Network. My name is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and today we're going to talk about ways of tapping into higher consciousness. The first way is really simple, discernment. So what is, what is discernment? That's basically uh, tapping into your, your cognitive abilities, uh, using rationalization uh, as a way to figure out what is right and what is wrong. The second way is intuition, which is similar to discernment, except intuition is going within. It's using your gut feeling versus your cognitive abilities. Um, sometimes you might get an inkling about something and you just know it's not right. For example, when I was young and I would go to church, as soon as I walked into church, I would get the eebie-jeebies. I knew something wasn't right about organized religion. And I know a lot of you out there have had that experience. I've talked about this before on N5D Radio, and I've gotten a lot of feedback on that as well with other people confirming the same feeling that they got about religion. It's that inner feeling that we all received through our intuition. The third way is opening up your third eye. Now, I just recently did a video on how to open up your third eye, but that's a, it's a wonderful way of tapping into the higher consciousness. And what happens, just briefly, when you open up your third eye, you're going to start seeing visions, images, and they might come in a little like outlines while you're in, in that meditative state, when, when your brain is in the alpha state. And the easiest way to get there is right before you go to bed your brain automatically goes into the alpha state. Now, if you can get into that meditative state in your mind, you're going to start seeing images right before you go to bed. Uh, while your eyes are closed, you're going to see outlines of images. And uh, you'll end up having these images come to you while you're in the meditative state when you're awake um, as you perfect this ability of opening the third eye. And you'll, you'll start seeing outlines of images, and then the images will get clearer and clearer, and then you'll see full-fledged images in time. Another way of uh, accessing higher consciousness is through meditation. So what I have is a, I have this uh, copper pyramid uh, that I sit under. I've seen these images floating around on the internet of these people. This, uh, apparently this, this person had their copper pyramid outside and a deer would come up in the daytime and just lay down underneath it. Now, I'm looking over, my dog is under, underneath mine right now. Here, <laughs> let me just do this. See him over there? He's lying underneath my pyramid right now. Uh, and he, he just knows. He, ever since he was a puppy, he's been, uh, he just finds his way underneath the pyramid. Uh, animals know, they, there's, the energy gets uh, vortex basically uh, through, the, through the top of the pyramid, through the capstone and down. And there's, there's a comforting energy that you have within when you're sitting under there. I just heard my dog give a big exhale. He's like, oh, he's, he's loving it. So that's, that's another way of um, going about tapping into higher forms of consci consciousness. Another way is uh, through the law of attraction. Uh, basically, the, the, the secret will teach you how to ask the universe for ideas and suggestions, and universe will respond. That's when I got my, what I call a galactic download in 2008, where I went outside and I just said, this is it. You know, at the time I was a child and family therapist. I had my own uh, business. I had a patent pending on a program I wrote designed to help families who are at risk of dissolution, children going through the reunification process and parents in need of parenting classes. But that wasn't enough. I knew there was more I had to do with my life. So I went outside and I just said, hey, universe, what is it I need to do? And at that point, I got what I call a galactic download, where I was downloaded all this information instantaneously that told me what I needed to do, how I needed to go about doing it. I needed to build a website, even though I knew nothing about building websites. And uh, they even gave me the name in 5D.com. So I was given all this by just asking. And the last and final way of tapping into higher consciousness is to ask your guides and angels. They are there with you 24 seven. They're constantly surrounding you, waiting for you to ask them because of the law of free will. They just can't jump in and say, okay, this is what we're gonna do. Of course, they might guide you and push you in a little direction. Um, but generally, if you ask them, they will provide. 
So put it out there and ask from the heart. Also be sure to use uh, Ho'oponopono in there where you say, this is what I do when I use that. I say, I'm sorry if I don't contact you as often as I should. Please forgive me. Thank you for providing safety, wealth, health, and abundance in everything that's good in life. And more than anything, I love you. And then ask what it is that you would like your guides or angels to help you with. It's that simple. So keep those ideas in mind. Um, if, you're, if you have any other ideas that I didn't cover in this video, please comment below. That's it for now. This is Greg from in5d.com.